Hello everyone! I have been waiting for MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Legend of the Kestrel Lancers to come out so I could play through the entire new campaign. And it's out! And it is very, very exciting and we get to play it. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump in and start a new campaign. <coughs> so I'm gonna do a new career and let's see what is available here. This is new for me. I downloaded the thing yesterday when it came out. I looked at this screen and this is pretty much all I know. So this is gonna be a first impressions video and I'm probably gonna make a lot of mistakes too. It happens. Uh, yeah, so let's see what we have. <coughs> we have the old five starting factions. We have the Davians, which are essentially the Americans. We have the Free Razzle Hague Republic, who are, I think, the Norse. They're like the Vikings, up between the uh, Kuritas and the, the Blue Guys. We have House Liao, which are the Chinese, essentially. A lot of these nations, they're named after, like, America, uh, after current um, Earth nations. Or at least that's, they have roots. Each one has different roots. Um, and we have House Kurita, these are Japanese, and these are like the bad guys of the universe. So always fun to play for. The Mariks, these are like Eastern Europe, Austria type of thing. And we have the Steiners, or uh, Steiners, because I think they're German. But we're gonna play the Kestrel Lancers. Um, and it looks like they have a lot of mechs to... Oh, they have a Kentaro, they start with a Kentaro. I love that. That is a great mech. Oh, and hovering over them, they have hands now. This one has two medium hands. I'm um, guessing that's going to be for melee attacks. I wonder if you can upgrade them. Oh, this one has a heavy hand. Two heavy hands. Awesome. Alright, so let's pick our Kestrel Lancers. We're going to start a brand new career. We're not importing anything. And I couldn't care less about the intro, so let's skip it. Here we go. This is going to be exciting. Okay, welcome to career mode. Yep, good to be here. What are we going to call ourselves? I'm definitely going with this little Phoenix thingy. Um, Phoenix Company, do we want to go with that name? No, we're going to rename it to Phoenix Group. LLC. There we go. We are now a limited liability corporation. If we break something, we're not liable. I love it. Um, Alright, let's look at our battle max. Don't care about this. Don't care about that. I'm just gonna flip through these screens quickly so this little help stuff goes away. And uh, where are we right now? Looking at the star map, we are in Davian space and we're next to Liao. Right, because this expansion was supposed to be about the fourth succession war. And in this universe, basically what happens is, for those of you who don't know, although I wouldn't, I don't know who wouldn't if you're watching this video, it is about Mech Warrior. But all of these used to be one big thing called the Star League. Thing inevit inevitably splintered, and they all became separate nations, and they're just fighting with each other for fun and profit every once in a while. Um, the fourth such attempt is the f called the fourth success. They're all called fourth, they're all called succession wars too. And this is the fourth one. And I think in this one what happens is the yellow dudes and the blue ones, they meet up, they create, they unite, they make one big country and they gank the green guys. Um, and then the red ones kind of try to help but they can't because they, uh, the Vikings, the, the Razzle Haig guys, make a country of their own and get them occupied and the purple guys they don't do much they just kind of sit there i mean i think they fight but there's really no visible effect so they are irrelevant all right but we are on lee um feels like it should be a green planet because it's china lee sounds chinese but i suppose it could be a first name too and then it's not anyway battle mechs we have a quick draw with the hand. The hands. Let's look at the loadout. What do we have? 
we have um, six medium lasers. I like that, but those are going to run very hot. Uh, the armor is very, very low. How heavy is that hand? Uh, I guess I can't remove it to save weight. Okay, fine. Uh, we have some jump jets. Don't care about them. Let's drop them. This is funny. If I drop five, if I drop four out of five jump jets, I still have 35 meters of jump height, and I saved four tons of um, weight. So I'm going to armor up. Let's max our armor. Excellent. So we've gone up to plus 128 armor. Where did that go? That went into my front. Good. It went into my head. Don't care. That's hard to hit. The eye never hits your head. So I'm just going to save a little weight there and put it where it's going to matter. Um, it gave me a lot of back armor. I don't care. I'm going to be facing the enemy because we are brave and we are the Phoenix Company LLC. So I'm going to switch that armor to the front. Same here. 30 armor in the back. Why? I'm not going to be running away. This is. I'm fighting the AI here, not you know the best mech warriors of all time and um, definitely want the arms because the arms always get blown off and that sucks where else do I want to put my armor I guess what's I don't have a lot of weight left so let's just put it into the legs 46 46 yeah that looks about right alright armored up I'm gonna stick with the lasers. I have SRMs. I love SRMs. I didn't used to love SRMs and then I tried them and they just hit so hard. So I like them now. And we're gonna keep the six lasers. Yeah, that's a build for our quick draw. I do wanna mess with his weapon groups. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put my hands on I'm gonna put them on chain fire, so I swing one after the other on weapon group four. What else do I have? I got a Sarams, those are gonna be my missiles. Three, that works. Everything else is the lasers. So I'm gonna put all six medium lasers on my one weapon group, and then I'm just gonna put like half of them on the other. So I can either salvo all of them easily, or I can just do half and then the other half while the first half is recharging. All right, that works. Hunchbacks. Let's look at our hunchback. I like hunchbacks, I have to say. Problem with the hunchback, because they can mount really good guns. Problem with the hunchback is that they have uh, these dinky little arms. They always get blown off. It sucks. I mean, who, who the hell would build a, a robot that loses its arms every time someone sneezes at it? But someone did. Sadly, but they did. Um, so arms, they have a crappy medium laser and when I get good ones I will not put them in the arms because they will be lost. Armor is good. Oh, uh, you know what, let's put a little bit more in the back. I just, I feel safer with my butt covered a little bit more. AC-10, how big is this slot? Well, it doesn't matter because all I really have is a AC-10 to put in here, even if I had a 20. Even if this was a heavy slot, I wouldn't be able to put it in here. The cool thing about a hunchback, about this particular robot, well, mech, I should say, is the fact that the different variants of it, some of them can mount really cool weapons in that little shoulder mount. Like a gauze rifle, for example, can be stuck in there. Of course, then you have to stay way, way back because everybody knows to shoot that thing. Um, so you'd lose your gauze rifle, but if you can stay in the back, have your lance mates engage, and you just snipe from the back, could be a fun build. Anyway, we're just going to switch a little bit armor around, and we are good. Shadowhawk. I don't like Shadowhawks, because they don't have a lot of good stuff on them. I mean, this one's got some missiles, and an AC-5. Uh... I want to put a red. I don't like the burst fire. I'm going to put a regular AC5 on this. This one hits for six every time you hit something. And this one hits for five damage. Ah, whatever. Let's keep the burst guy. Let's keep the burst fire. We are going to burst. 
bursting is good. Look how little armor he has. These jump jets, man. Who wants these jump jets? I'm not gonna be jumping around. We're just gonna be. We need armor because we don't. You can't. If you lose your legs, you can't jump. No legged mechs can't jump. They should know this. All right. So again, take some armor away from the head. Put it on the arm so they don't get blown off. I have one more ton of armor. I can put some. Ah. I want to put it on the center torso, but it does say 69, and I like that number. No pun intended. Yeah, forget it. It's 70 now. There. That's my armor layout. I like it. I'm going to go with it. And uh, Jenner. I uh, don't care about Jenners because they are horrible mechs. I mean, they're not that bad. I just don't... Again, I don't like it. All these... Gen all these mechs are super jumpy um, can I yeah we will do the same thing I'm just gonna take the uh, jump jets away and I'm gonna max the armor and whoever is piloting this thing is gonna be super happy um, SRM ammo I need it I need the heat sink this mech is gonna be trash doesn't have a lot of cooling it doesn't have a lot of armor I don't see myself ever using this. But whatever. I'll take it if I have to. I'll take it with me if I have to. All right, next. Blackjack. Good little mech, famous for losing its arms. But it is a cool mech nevertheless. Oh, it's got large lasers. This is actually good. That makes it super OP. Uh, let's armor up though. Let's put more armor on it. I'm not gonna be jumping with this thing. I kind of wonder the fact that all these mechs have so many jump jets. Does that mean the missions are gonna require me to jump? Uh, I hope not. Alright, armor it up. We got two tons we can put on. We're gonna take the head armor off again. Arms, the little dinky ones. They're gonna stay. We're going to put as much armor as we can onto our legs, just on general principle. And let's put 14 on the back because 13 is a bad luck number. I want good luck. All right, next. Next mech, Phoenix Hawk. I like this mech. I only like it because of how it looks. It looks really cool. Um, this one has a large laser. Uh, most of them have PPCs. So I'm going to put a PPC on mine. Uh, that makes it heavy. But that's fine because, look, jump jets to the rescue. Goodbye, jump jets. We have machine gun ammo. Fine. We got some hands. No cooling at all. No cooling at all is not going to work out so well. I'm gonna forget the machine guns. Ah, should I keep the machine guns? Let's go with no cooling and see what happens. If if it cooks, it cooks. As they say. Very famous saying in the inner sphere. If it cooks, it cooks. Alright, good. That can cook. Kintara. I'll do Kintara last because I love Kintaros. Everybody else does too. Wolverine. What's on the Wolverine? Oh look, jump jets. What a surprise. Go away. Now we get two extra tons. Do we put it into armor or does it have armor? It has decent armor. Finally, a mech that is not crap. Um, SRMs with their ammo are here. We have some hands. We got two medium lasers and a large one. Let's put in more heat sinks and we are going to be happy. The more heat sinks, the happier we get. And let's look at the uh, weapon groups on it. The weapon setup. I want SRMs on 3. I want my hands on 4. I want my medium lasers on 2. And I want my large laser on 1. Good. Good. You are good. Alright, Kintaro. This is considered like the best medium mech you can get. And the reason that is the case is because just it can mount a ton of SRMs. And SRMs are so good at dealing damage. They overheat. They they make you cook like crazy. 
so unfortunately I am gonna have heat problems but as long as I aim correctly I think I'm gonna do well I have three SRMs fine one LRM no not because I'm against LRMs but because a single LRM 5 is not gonna kill anything it's just stupid it's useless I'll put an SRM 4 on there instead I'm a little worried about the 6 on the arm I'm gonna take that off the arm I'm gonna put a 4 in here instead that gives me ah, too much ammo too much ammo so this gives me a little bit more uh, tonnage to play with and looking at the ammo look how do I know I have too much ammo there's 320 rounds per ton and I have 6 12 plus 8 and I'll be shooting 20 th uh, 20 missiles per shot so this gives me like what 16 shots per ton I don't need that man do I well the LRM ammo goes away two SRM ammos that's 640 divided by 20 that's like 32 shots I'll be fine yeah and I'm gonna put the rest in the heat sinks because heat is gonna be a problem a big one all right let's put some heats oh, let's put one into the engine the cool thing about engine heat sink slots is that you can put a double heat stick in here without having it take up any more room normally it would take up like three slots but this one is not going to be the case not really a problem with the smaller mechs kind of an issue with like when you have a big big mechs on which you can build it you can put a ton of stuff on them uh, you run out of space, not tonnage, but just like space to put things. So you put your double heat sinks into the engine and uh, you're a happier mech. Okay, so these are my mechs. Oh, they were supposed to have new skins. So let's take a look. Oh, Crucis. Okay, that's just like an army skin. I don't like it. Not really a big fan of this. Davian, Default, Mountain Line. Sherman Snowfall, Vagabond. This is all like stuff I've seen before. I'm gonna go with this camo because it looks cool. Oh, sh yeah. Nah, I kind of like this one. It's new. It's green. No, it's already. The thing's already green. But yeah, we go with uh, Vagabond camo. And all right, and I got an achievement. That was the easiest achievement ever. So let's look at the transmissions. Cantinas are available. Alright, thank you. Good to know. Um, let's wait for the timeline. Let's have our mechs get done. Oh, that's a new little sound effect. I like it. Jenner is done. Kintaro. Quick draw and a Phoenix Hawk. Oh, the mission expires. This is cool. So you can't fly around for seven years and then come back and then expect the same guys that wanted you to siege a house to say, yeah, we still need you. It's only been seven years. The house is still not ours. Um, so that's great. All right. So let's see what we have. Operation Galahad. So this is probably going to be the mission to uh, go gank the greens. Gank the greens. Um, blah 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 blah. They're on behalf of the first prince. Yeah, I'm sure he wanted to contact me personally. Um, they're gonna alliance with the Learn Commonwealth. So the Federated Sons are the yellow guys, and these are the blue guys, and they're gonna get together. Mm, they're gonna unify, make one big, one big nation, and they're gonna do Operation Galahad. Yeah, all right, let's do this. It's going to give travel and mission control to your employer for a week. So they're going to decide where do I go. Oh, that's new. So I don't get to choose. I just go. All right, that's good. Um, so I'm glad you've accepted the offer to go to the operation. You're going to go to do some exercises. All right, let's go. Oh, this is new. Look at that. New animation. I have a jump ship and everything, and it's docking. It's so cool. Let's dock it up.
still docking. It's been a while. Come on, get there already. I have, I have a fairly quick computer. It should be fine. Um, okay, we now have a mission briefing to go to, so let's go. Mission briefing. All right, there's a guy in a yellow, green, brownish uniform, and he says blah 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 he says then he goes blah blah some more and then he says go destroy some invading coalition forces all right we can do this let's uh, let's destroy some people I think it's gonna be a defense I'm gonna go for salvage I like salvage salvage is good the reason you want to go for salvage by the way is a lot of time when you are buying stuff on planets from uh, equipment brokers and and robo and mech brokers well it's the equipment more than the mechs but things drop on the battlefield that you can't buy i'm talking about like level four weapons level five weapons sometimes you're gonna have a hard time finding those for sale so salvage is always good plus you can always sell them anyway all right so you will be paired with Colonel, Colonel Westrick and his Cobras. You're supposed to work together to defend a the orbital defense system. Um, oh, this is just a war game. Okay. And uh, be mindful that you can only end when someone wins or loses. Well, that kind of makes sense. And the game has crashed. All right. Alright guys, we are back in MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries after our crash. I had to start the damn thing like four or five times. Turns out one of my mods was the problem. I don't know which one, but I took off Heat Gauge and the Mech Attribute Viewer and it seems to be okay. So let's see what happens. Alright, so we are going to load our game and we're going to go to our entering of the system again. <clears throat> Here we are, and I am now going to go back to the mission briefing, and I'm really crossing my fingers. Don't crash. You're alive. Yes. Excellent. Right, so what am I driving? I have a quick draw. This is going to be a good mech to play. Uh, Hunchback is going to lose his arms. That's fine. Sawe Tori Lu is going to lose the arms. I'm, w I'm watching you, Tori. You're gonna do this. Shadowhawk. I hate this mech, so I'm glad the AI is running it. And the Jenner. Um, yeah, the Jenner guy is gonna get hit. That's good for him. Alright, and what's a contract? Oh, don't care. Um, Alright, let's go. Let's do this. We are gonna jump in. I have my mechs in the default color scheme. That works for me. I am okay with... Oh, look at these guns! They're shooting. So I can go like this. Oh, the UI is a little bit new. Or I can go like this. Why are they so blurry? Is my... Oh my gosh, this game sucks so much. It keeps crashing! We are back once again. Uh, somewhat less excited now. Oh, this thing sucks! We're back. Definitely less excited now to play our buggy crash fest of an expansion pack to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. I will load the mission and I will not go anywhere near the options menu. That makes the game crash. Any mods are also no good. I'm going to try to zoom, zoom in and see if that makes me crash. Firing weapons does not make you crash. That is cool. I'm glad they've managed to make that work. I'm sure it was not easy for them. But they are crack programmers and they managed it. Zooming in. Okay, my zoom in mod doesn't work. But the game did not crash. So again, very exciting. Alright, so what am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to... walk around, okay. 
I'm gonna go into uh, I'm gonna go into outside view. A crash could happen. Oh, it didn't. Did not crash. We can go into outside view successfully as well. Very exciting. All right, map. Oh, that didn't crash either. Good. All right, so I think I'm supposed to be just running around and defending things. So, yeah, spawn some enemies. Try to uh, remain running game. And we can take it from there. You know what? I'm going to go up on that. Oh, what happens when I swing my hand? I'm about to wait. This might crash. I'm going to I'm going to swing my hand. Okay. That worked. Ah, oh, wow. Good. I'm so paranoid now that this game is just going to crash again. But fine, it didn't. Very exciting. Okay, there is a J Edgar. Let's kill J Edgar. Let's kill J Edgar Hoover. Come on, Jay. You know you want to play. You know you want this. You know what? Ah. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around anyway, so... Team, you go kill him. I can't see anything. This jungle is ridiculous. Can I cut it down a little bit? Oh, this is, like, ridiculous. I can't see anything. Uh, kill him, kill him! Yeah, Jay! Jay, come on, Jay, you know... Oh. That's that's a pretty tough J. Oh, and there was some dude in the middle. All right, I'm gonna go kill the rifleman. Let's all kill the rifleman squad. Come on, we can do this. We have an SRM. We have some medium lasers, and we can get handsy with them. I know that's an HR thing, but this is war, and sometimes you just have to touch someone. Yes, I wanna hand him. I wanna I wanna hit him with my hand. He doesn't have any hands. He's running away. He knows what's coming. Come on. Punch him! Do it! Yes! Yes! I punched him! This is so exciting! Okay, SRM him. I can't SRM. Oh, I did it. I, I SRM'd him. Do SRMs even work? Yeah, I just... I guess I just didn't see them. Alright, next ones. You are going down. Panther! Right in the middle and SRM him. He's gonna lose an arm. And a head. I got him in the head. Yes, he died. I didn't get to touch him with my hand. But you know what? Sometimes you just don't get touched. This is war. We do what we can and we do it with pride. Come on. I'm gonna punch you. I'm so gonna punch you. Yes! Get him! Okay, why are you shooting me? There's like so many dudes for you to shoot. Oh, you took off my hand. Oh, you little. He just took my hand off. Just like that. He just straight up took it. All I did was punch him with it. But, ah. Well, this is not going very well. I've lost a hand. I can now no longer get too handsy. I've lost half my hand capacity. Um, and only killed five dudes out of 25. <laughs> this is not going to go so well. But this is good. That means this is so much harder. Because I'm not that bad at this game. I've I've beaten the first one. No problem. Alright. Fahad. Yes, nobody's organized anymore. I'm going to... Yes, you guys go get the Griffin. You get close. I am going to stay, stay away from him. And I'm just gonna hand him. This foliage is cool, but there's too much of it. I can't see anything. Like, oh no, he's coming after me. Oh no, like, why? Go, go, blow up the base, dude. Leave me alone. I'm leaving. This sucks. I'm just gonna jump down, and you can. Oh no, too high, too high. I'm gonna die. Run, run. I'm running away from this guy. I don't care. I am not brave. At all. Target's at 80%. I'm gonna fail the first tutorial mission. This is so bad. Alright, let's get this tank. Oh, get this guy. Guys, kill him. All of you. I'm gonna get him in the leg. I'm gonna leg him. Leg. gonna stay away he's not shooting me I'm excited I almost took a yes one leg down 
One to go. Yes, the legs are out. Oh, look at these guys. They're just like floating around, shooting my <laughs> shooting the thing I'm supposed to be defending. Oh no. All right, let's go around. Come on, go, 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 quick. Uh, you get that hunchback. He's got an AC twenty. Yeah, get the hunchback. He is. Where is my lance anyway? Oh, they're behind me. They're not doing anything. They're just sitting there. Oh, I can shoot him from here. I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna shoot him because that is the way. This is the way. This is simply the way. He keeps turning around this guy. I gotta get a little closer. Because he's not getting my full benefit right now. Uh, yeah, I'm shooting the wrong side. Like, I wanna, sh I wanna hit his gun. Alright, something blew up on him. He's good. He's coming down. He is so gonna die. That's it. Rocket him. Ah, uh, yes. Hunchback is down. Next. Why can't I target this guy through... Uh, trebuchet. This is this guy's an issue. Okay, you guys get somebody else. I'm gonna get the trebuchet because he is gonna be shooting missiles from far away. He's got some LRMs. LRMs are a problem. I'm gonna leg him. Oh, now he sees me. This is not a good thing. I gotta get closer so he can't LRM me. Because they have a minimum range of effect and if I stay within it he can't use them and I'm pretty sure I'm in it yes all right trebuchet I like your skin by the way it's very pretty and uh, you're dead yes I think going for the legs is the way to go my targets not doing so well but neither I lost a hand so you know it could be better Griffin is still alive he got shot in the back but his front is perfectly fine. Why is he in the base? Dude, get out of the base. You're gonna break it. Alright, took off his front armor too. This is it. He's over. He is dead. He's like the fidget spinners now, right now. He's completely useless. He's like a fidget spinner. Oh, okay, there's a locust. Those are easy to kill. They're quick. But I have lasers. They are hit scan weapons. Pinpoint. And we're just gonna go. Ah! SRM! Bring it. Bring it. Oh, I shot anywhere but him. Alright, SRM him again. Now you die. Okay, good. Where's that last guy? Where's that spider? Oh, he's. Where is he? Oh, how did he get there? Alright, flip over. Everybody kill the spider! Dude, I just hit your hand. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Oh, yes. More airplanes. I can do this. We can do this. As long as we're together. Oh, shoot high, dude. I can't shoot high. This is a problem with the quick draw that I didn't realize I would have. I can't hit anything above me. Look at this. Oh, that sucks. And I'm missing a hand. Missing a hand is honestly upsetting me. I don't know why it's upsetting me so much. But it is. It's my right hand, too. Okay, what are those guys? There's something here. I'm gonna. Okay, my team, go shoot that Phoenix Hawk. I am gonna get the J. Edgar because that's less likely to take off my left hand. And the base is getting wrecked. Why are people not shooting the orbital cannons? Guys, kill him. This is bad. This is bad. 30% left. 30%, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I'm gonna take the Centurion. These are tough little mechs. And I'm gonna leg him too. I missed his leg completely. Like, his leg and my shots were in a different zip code. Ah, uh, yes. He's lost his leg. I am legging him. I am successfully making him drop like a sack of potatoes. Potatoes, baby. You are a potato. Yes. We did it. Nice 
We did this. 24% effectiveness left, so I wouldn't call this a great success, but we did it. I am very excited. What, I gotta keep going? I thought I want this mission. Don't make me keep going. I have a Jenner. That thing is useless. Okay, yes. Yes. Next mission is gonna be advanced. And we did not crash it. Wait. We can still crash. We can still crash. I'm hoping for the best. It's getting darker slowly. Slowly. We have not yet crashed. This game wasn't tested, I think, before they released it because they were on a deadline. I'm the tester. And so far not so good Warhammer there's a war oh I want a Warhammer there's a Centurion there's a Trebuchet let's get a Warhammer it's wrecked it's gonna take me a while before I can rebuild it but I want it this is why you go for salvage look it's got heavy arms heavy and it's got two PPCs and it's got a bunch of lasers this is it this is the way to go what, do, what else do I have um, this thing has medium lasers are broken. Oh, I wish I could get a PPC, but I can't. Next next mission, I'll get the PPC. Let's get one medium laser, and and I'm very glad this game auto saves. Okay, we did good. We did well. I am gonna try and fix my max. I hope they let me. And we are going to get ready for mission number two. Fix them all. All right. We put a new laser on and everything, and things are good again. I'm not going to get so handsy going forward because that, lose, that leads you to lose the hands. Not awesome. All oh, this guy lost was some armor. He, he didn't do anything. He just kind of like walked around like an idiot. Um, Shadowhawk, he did some damage, I like him. Jenner, surprisingly, out damaged, I think, the Hunchback. Alright, so there's a week. There's a month before my mechs are fixed. Gosh. No, 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 close this. I don't want to keep going. Can I wait to fix my mechs? No, I gotta go. Oh, so these are all like multi-mission operations. Alright. So we are going to do this. We are going to save the game. We are going to do our next video very, very soon. And when we do, I am going to put the uh, play the next mission and I am going to put it up. Alright, so I am going to... Can I just save the mission somehow? Yes, I can save. New save. And this is going to say... Crash me not. I hope this is going to be a good luck charm. Alright guys, I am going to leave. And thank you so much for watching. I will do the next episode. Hopefully today or tomorrow.